Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this problem, we are given a string s on which you need to perform q replace operation. So in each replacement operation, you would be given three parameters. So let's first write one, two, and three. So in the first parameter, you would be given the starting index. The next is the source word, and the next is the target word. Okay. Then the rule is that if x start at a position i in the original string s, then we would replace that occurrence of x with y. So what we need to do is we need to first go and check if this s word starts at index si or not. If it starts, then we would replace s w with t w target source word with target. Now. All these operations are simultaneously done and we won't have any overlap. This is what is said. Now, this is in the index 0, this is index 1, this is index 2, this is index 3, this is index 4 and this is index 5. If we go to the 0th index and if we replace go and find g, yes g is there, we need to replace it with geeks. So now g is replaced with g, e, e, k, s. Okay, we have this. Then we need to replace the index at 4. So 1, 2, and 3 would remain intact. So 1, 2, and 3 is F, O, R. And then we are coming at 4. At 4, we need to write K, K S with geeks. So G, E, E, K, S. This is what it needs to be done. So we have this as the final string. Okay. Now, how would we solve this problem? Now, to solve this problem, we saw that if we try to do whatever is said, then we would first insert it here. Then after this, if we insert it here, then after this point, the value of g is replaced with multiple. Because see, we can have something like this, that it is a a character, single character and it is replaced with a b c d e f then after appending one character with these all the indexing would change okay the indexing would change so this now boils down to the implementation problem okay so now let us try to think how can we can implement this so now instead what we can do is if we are appending the index then the string is going in this side so what we can do is we can start appending from the back like we would go to the index 4 this is ks we would reply with geeks so g e e k s then now at the place of 4 g would be there then we need to move forward to 0 so now first thing is we need to start from back translating the same in hindi why we are doing so अगर पीछे से जा रहे हैं तो वर्ड ऐड होने के बाद भी इस तरफ चला जा रहा है मतलब स्ट्रिंग का लेंथ इफेक्ट हो रहा है मगर बाकी इंडेक्सिंग वहीं का वही रह रहा है सिर्फ लास्ट वाला इफेक्ट हुआ ओके दिस इज व्हाट वी आर डूइंग सी सपोज इफ वी अपेंड द इंडेक्स ऑफ द फ्रंट वन देन होल इंडेक्सिंग इज डिस्ट्रॉयड बट इफ वी गो फ्रॉम द लास्ट पार्ट देन दे आर गोइंग एट दैट साइड बट दिस साइड इंडेक्सिंग इज प्रिजर्व now we need to think of something how we can move forward. Now we can see that if we append this 4 then we go to 0 then this is fine. Okay. So what we can do is we can sort the index and then we can go from high to low. Why going from high to low? Because if we are A, B, C, D, E, F and we are disrupting this value with x, y, z and all those values have already been processed because see, suppose we are processing a particular index and if we have sorted them in the decreasing order then the, we know that the next value would be less. So if d is now a, b, c and again e, f and if we move forward these indexing are preserved and we can do that. Fair enough. Now what needs to be done is we need to sort it. Sorting would take n log n if you use the inbuilt sorting okay you can do with r begin r end 
or you can simply sort it in the default way or use comparators or sort it in default way and then reverse it fair enough this is n log this is one the next part where the algorithm lies is we would go and replace this with this if we want to replace sources with targets we need to now see the constraints so now let's have a look at the constraints so if we go at the constraints then we have 10 to the power 4 so even if we do 10 to the power 4 multiplied by q queries why q queries i would be telling you because at each step we are modifying a string to a large extent so we can take that and in the worst scenario we need to modify the whole string so if we are modifying the whole string then at max 10 to the power 4 operation can be required and at max 100 queries can be there okay bases are seen the powers would get that is 10 to the power 6 10 to the power 6 is less than 10 to the power 8 and the expected time complexity is also the length of the string multiplied by the number of queries so yes this would pass okay so now we can do so so this is what n into multiplied by q and both is enough to not to avoid tle we won't get tle okay so now how to do it now how to do it first we need to sort the indexes in the decreasing order but after sorting the sources and the target shouldn't be disrupted so what we can do is we can map 0 with 0 and 4 with 4 with 1 then we can if we sort according to the index this would be 4 1 0 0 and this would tell me that at what place the target and the source is there so if we are go at 4 yes 4 is there we got the highest value and we can see that at index 1 we have the sources and the target okay fair enough this is what we can do now let us move to the implementation and it and the implementation will be more clear now let us start the implementation now as i told what we would do is we would insert the indexes with mapped with the indexing of the sources and the target and we would sort according to the values of index now there are two ways to do that first we use a comparator or what you can do is by default it sorts according to the first value so we would build up a vector of pair of int and int and then we would name it as sorted itself okay sorted value we would name it then what we would do is we would go int i is equals to zero i is less than the number of q and i plus plus we would iterate on all the q why we would iterate because it would tell me the index at where sources and the indexes are there now the first one what we would do is sorted dot push push back the indexing first because we would sort according to the value of index index i with i so that we know that what was his original position in the initial so we are just trying to remember the original position even after sorting okay we are doing this now what we would do is we would sort sort sorted dot begin and then sorted dot end and then reverse sorted and then we are reversing okay now there is one more thing we can do and we would discuss it at the very end okay there are actually two things but i would discuss one more because the comparator thing is there but it goes on a little bit very lengthy implementation okay fair enough so what we would do is for auto ind first we would go there and we would start with the sorted values the first value would give me the index the next value would give me the value of i so int i is equals to ind dot first fair enough then we would have string s okay string s what is string s we would have the value of the sources and the index okay so s o r a s sources of 
ind dot second yeah ind dot second and t is equal to s and t is equal to what is this value target t of target of ind dot second fair enough now if s dot sub str okay, we would go and we would go at the particular index and then we would extract the value first we would extract the value then we would check if it is equal or not first let us extract the value int i we would go to the particular index and how many characters we need to extract the value of s s dot size fair enough if it is equal to s that we have went and extract the number of characters in s in the s and here it's the lower cases if both are equal that means we have found a match now we need to replace now if we need to replace we can do it in the original string because we know that after this point the indexing won't this the indexing would remain the same so we would uh, modify the original string then s dot sub str we would first take the value till i because till this point the values would remain the same fair enough then we would move forward and we would take the value of t okay we would take the target value because we need to replace the s with t so we are just ignoring the middle part the part we need to modify and before part is directly copied and after part is copied at s dot sub str okay sub str and then i i plus s dot length or uh, size itself why we are not mentioning the number of characters because if the characters is not mentioned it would take the values till the last point itself okay fair enough and then we would return the value of and yes now let us check for the sample test cases and yes we are getting a correct output now let us submit this And yes, we got an AC. Now, in this, after sorting and then reversing, we directly have that we would start from R begin, that is reverse begin and reverse it. And that would perform the same. And yes, it is performing the same. Let us submit this again. This is just a small optimization, constant optimization. It won't affect the time complexity.